everyone my name is tiffany wallace and welcome back to my channel in case you're wondering about the phrase that i just said welcome back to my channel yes i do have a channel i've just been off for a while by a while i mean a year but i'm back and i hope you stay tuned in to see what i do have to say and yeah please stay tuned <music> So I can be a very forgetful person. I tend to forget about stuff that I have to do. I forget about things that I put down or I misplace it at times. I forget about my humanness, that I am flawed and I will always be flawed. I forget about God and his word and what he has to say and his character, specifically what he has to say concerning me. And in my forgetfulness, I replace it with lies that aren't specifically, or rather, I replace it with lies that aren't his words. So they're my words, or they're what I think. And in redefining what I think God thinks about me, they're always negative thoughts. It's really nothing positive or uplifting. And with that, instead of believing that god will help me with everything that i will do or believing that i just have to take a step and he will help me with the rest i then put this enormous pressure upon myself feeling as if i have to do everything from a to z i have to do this i have to do that and if i don't do it then god will help me because of my forgetfulness and because i forget the word or god's word and moments like that i replace it with what i think and what i think isn't always in alignment with the word of god or even positive stuff honestly and in my forgetfulness and replacing god's words with my lies or with the enemy's lies i then believe the lies and i believe that god puts this enormous pressure on me to be the only one doing something which is a part of the reason why i stopped doing videos in the first place because i was i believed that that was pressure he was putting on me but in reality that was lie and in my forgetfulness and i'm using forgetfulness but you can interject it with any word that works best for you because my forgetfulness is like a category for all the words that fall underneath it, which is unbelief and lies and something that isn't true, something that doesn't align with the word of God. So that's what I'm calling my forgetfulness to be. But what I am thankful for is the Holy Spirit that helps to clarify some stuff, to help to separate what is truth from what isn't truth. And what isn't true is everything that I just said previously about God putting pressure on me or on you to do stuff or being the only one, you being the sole person responsible for doing anything that he may want you to do or even any desire that you may have, any talents, any gifts. You feeling like you have to do this and if you don't do it, then God's not going to help you with it. The Holy Spirit helps to clarify some stuff and he really does that by reading the word or by us reading the word. When we read the word, we then see who God is and we can then, or rather he helps us to uproot the thoughts and the lies and our forgetfulness and replace them with the actual truth of who he really is. And in that moment of clarity, I then began to see that all that were actually lies like it wasn't true in reality the truth is all god really wants is us you and myself coming as we are not with everything figured out not with the weight of the world on our shoulders as if we have to do this and we have to do everything by ourselves but coming in our imperfections and in our flaws and in our weaknesses and taking that leap of faith, even if it's just saying, God, I can't do this by myself. You know, sometimes I think we overemphasize what those steps may look like. And we think that the steps that God is requiring from us is a point A to a point Z all in one step when that's not logical. Like, 
I can't do that. <laughs> and if I know anything about the human nature is that even though we are different, we are very much the same at the same time. So he's not requiring from us or demanding from us a step A to Z. He's just expecting or more so wanting us to just surrender to him. Taking that first step, whether that's confessing to him, telling him that you can't do it, whether that's, you know, giving him some stuff that you need to take off yourself, like that load that you've been carrying, whatever it may be, it's not what our minds conceive that step to be. Get into the word of God, you see that he's really a simple person, like he's not demanding from us these things that we're not capable of giving him. You know, he's not demanding from us these great, awesome sacrifices. I know there's a scripture that says a broken and a contrite spirit he won't despise. He's not demanding from us silver and gold and all our strength and our abilities. He's just demanding from us a heart that's willing to partner with him so that we both, both ourselves and him can come together and do what needs to be done you know he's really simple we're the complicated beings i am at least one of the complicated beings that thinks that god is requiring more than he actually is and i think in my own theory at least that starts with lies lies that we believe about god's character analyze that we believe in turn because of his character which isn't good we think that his thoughts and his words concerning us isn't good when that's not the truth if you want to find out the truth about god and about yourself the best place the only place really in starting is in his word and the holy spirit will help you to see what you need to see and to discover and to learn about yourself and to learn about him so that's the place that I had to come to and honestly that I'm still coming to day by day that God isn't requiring great stuff from me. He's really requiring a heart that's willing to say yes, a heart that's willing to surrender, a heart that's willing to partner with him, to do stuff, to accomplish dreams, to accomplish desires, to accomplish God-given dreams that he's given unto us, to accomplish the daily things that we do through life whether that's going to work going to school getting up cleaning whatever it may be it's not anything grand it's always in the small things and I know especially for myself because I expect or I think he expects these great things from me I always think he he wants me to do these great things when honestly sometimes it's just point A to point B is just legit getting out the bed and going in the shower like <laughs> He could even want you to just partner with him to do just that. It's not always in the great spectacular things. It's really in the everyday life situations. And his promise to us is that he is with us. He didn't say he is with us in the big. He didn't say he was with us only in the spectacular. He said he would be with us always and always consist of all the parts of our lives, the big, the small, the mediocre. The part that really isn't interesting makes sense or the parts that we don't want anyone to be involved in he's with us through all of that and that was what helped me to even sum up the courage to start making that videos again so if it did that for me i'm more than sure that it will do that for you because it's the same god that works in my life who works in all of our lives. He's no different to me than he will be to anyone else. And with that, I'm confident that if you are in the same place, the same headspace that I am, then he will help you through it. Now, with that all being said, I wanna say thank you to everyone who tuned in to this video. To newcomers, for the first time you're seeing me again, my name is Tiffany Wallace. And if this isn't your first time, you have been consistent, even in my own inconsistency, I want to also say thank you to you. Thank you to everyone. Um, please like and share and subscribe to this. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video. And please stay tuned for future videos that is to come. Yes, hopefully more videos to come. 
and have a great day. Thank you for joining and see you next time.